Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I show you how I made my version of these beautiful lighted floor vases. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. For my wood vases, I've decided to use select pine board. I purchased one of these eight foot one by fours as well as an eight foot one by three. I had both boards cut into four 24 inch pieces. I also used some Gorilla wood glue, a sanding sponge, and one and a half inch wood screws. So the first thing I did was use wood glue to attach two pieces of my 1x4 and two pieces of my 1x3 together. While putting together my second face, I did notice that my cuts were not precise, but I was still able to use these pieces. I just made sure that the bottom of my vase was even and level. I allowed my vases to dry for about 20 minutes and then I added one and a half inch wood screws. To avoid splitting my wood, I pre-drilled 1 8 inch holes. I then lightly sanded both vases. To close up the bottom of my vases, I'm using these tower game wood pieces that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Once my game pieces were dry, I sanded them down until they were able to snugly fit into the bottom of each vase.
Next, I added two coats of this Deco Art white paint. I also added two coats of this Rust-Oleum Pearl Mist spray paint that I picked up from Home Depot. And to protect my paint, I also added two coats of this glossy varnish that I picked up from Joann's. Once my vase was completely dry, I added this decorative trim that I had left over from Christmas to the top and bottom of each vase. I'm using these copper wire lights that I already had at home. I think I purchased these from Target last year. I used one Velcro command strip to attach the battery pack inside of the vase. Next, I added these curly gold branches that I picked up from Michaels. I fed my wires through my gold branches and I continued to add additional branches until I was happy with my arrangement. I decided to tone down my design just a bit by removing the gold glitter ribbon and replacing it with a neutral cream colored ribbon with metallic designs instead. I purchased this ribbon from Michaels during their after Christmas clearance sale. And here's the finished look. I am really happy with how this week's project turned out. It was really simple to make, very inexpensive, and can be customized to fit any home decor. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, Dazzlers, bye.